I wasn't sure you'd come. It's nice of you to see me. Don't say that. Do you hate me, Therese? No. How could I hate you? I mean, I, I suppose you could. For a while. Didn't you? Abby tells me you're thriving. You have no idea how happy I am for you. Um, you, you look like you've, you've blossomed. I suppose that's what comes from being away from me. No. What? I was just, um, nothing. I, I was just thinking of that day in the doll department. I always wondered, why did you come over to me? You were the only girl not busy as hell. Disappointed? Harge and I have decided to sell the house. I've taken an apartment on Madison Avenue and a job, believe it or not, at a furniture house on 4th Avenue as um, a buyer. Some of my ancestors must have been carpenters. Have you seen Rindy? Once or twice in the lawyer's office. She sat on my lap and we, uh, she's going to live with Harge now. It's the right thing. Um, and the apartment, the apartment is um, very big, big enough uh, for two. Um, I, I don't suppose you'd want to come and live with me, would you? No, I don't think so. Your decision? Yes. I'm meeting some people from the furniture house at the Oak Room at 9. If you want to have dinner, if you change your mind, I think you'd like them. Well, that's that. I love you. Therese, is that you? What do you know? I'm saying to myself, I know that girl. Jack. Gee, but it's great to see you. It's been, well, months. Oh, months. Uh, Jack, this is Carol Aird. Pleased to meet you. Likewise. Hey, Ted Gray's meeting me here. A bunch of us are heading down to Phil's party. You're going, aren't you? Well, yes. I, I just plan to get there a little. You should go. Are you coming along? Uh, no, no. I, I have some calls to make before, before dinner. Anyway, I, I really should run. Are you sure? Of course. Well, it would be great to catch a ride. You two have a wonderful evening. It was, it was lovely meeting you. Nice meeting you. All right, well, let me go make sure the loaf is on his way. Back in a flash. <laughs>